In last lecture, we saw how to find relation for volume element in curvilinear coordinate system, in spherical polar coordinate system, in cylindrical coordinate system. Now, in this lecture and some upcoming lectures, we are going to see gradient divergence curl and Laplacian in orthogonal coordinate system. So first we need to understand or we are going to revise what is orthogonal coordinate system. System okay. Orthogonal coordinate system. So if in a curvilinear coordinate system there is a point say P at this point coordinate lines are going to intersect each other and if we draw tangent to each curve each coordinate curve and if these tangents are maturely perpendicular to each other then you can call that coordinate system as orthogonal coordinate system now first we will start with the gradient so gradient in orthogonal coordinate system that is curvilinear coordinate system okay so the property of it is orthogonal now i will say that or i will define there is some function psi which is scalar continuous function so this is a scalar function and it is continuous so first we will understand continuous what is mean by continuous function so if i draw a graph of a psi with respect to some variable say x then over a given range it should not have any break so you can see now it is a continuous if this function is like this and then there is some break just like this then you can say it is discontinuous function for a given range say I am giving range from A to B or for given interval okay so our psi which is we are interested in is scalar continuous function so you know there are two quantities one is a scalar one is a vector scalar has only magnitude and if you say it is a vector function then it will contain magnitude as well as direction so this is a scalar function so it does not contain any direction it has only magnitude then i will say del psi is equal to f1 e1 cap plus f2 e2 cap plus f3 e3 cap del bar psi so del bar is operator right and we write it like this i cap dabba by dabba x j cap dabba by dabba y plus k cap dabba by dabba z you can see as i am putting arrow on the head of del so it is vector function right or it is it is not function it is operator so it is vector now here you can see del bar is operating on psi and i am defining that it is equal to f1 e1 cap f2 e2 cap f3 e3 cap as we know e1 e2 e3 are unit vectors along the coordinate lines so you can see these are e1 e2 and e3 and these are unit vectors along the tangent drawn at point of intersection of coordinate lines so these are the unit vectors e3 cap unit vectors now i am interested in finding f1 f2 and f3 these are some quantities and I am interested in finding those quantities. 
I will call this equation 1 for our reference I will call it 1 now I am going to say that r bar is some position vector of or it is a position vector of point P then this is position vector then differential of r I can write it in terms of partial derivative dabba by dabba r bar u1 du1 plus dabba r bar by dabba u2 du2 plus dabba r bar by dabba u3 du3 here I should know that r bar is a function of u1 u2 u3 and u1 u2 u3 are coordinate in curvilinear coordinate system now as we saw earlier this dabba r bar by dabba u1 can be written as dabba r bar by dabba u1 e1 cap this is the magnitude and i wrote it like this e1 cap h1 is scale factor so using this scale factor I can rewrite dabba r bar as or dr bar as h1 e1 cap du1 plus h2 e2 cap du2 right in similar sense you can write dabba r bar by dabba u1 u2 so it will be h2 e2 cap plus dabba r bar by dabba u3 that will be h3 e3 cap and then du3 I will call this equation equation 2 now by the property of gradient property of gradient so there is a property of gradient if you take dot product of del bar psi dot dr bar then you will get change in psi or d psi okay so <clears throat> you know the value of del bar psi that was our first equation so you can see here del bar psi is equal to f1 e1 cap plus f2 e2 cap plus f3 e3 cap so i am going to carry this equation over here so that will become f1 it was f1 so it was f1 e1 cap plus f2 e2 cap plus f3 e3 cap dot then dr bar you can see in equation 2 dr bar we have defined dr bar so dr bar is equal to dr bar is equal to h1 e1 cap du1 plus h2 e2 cap du2 plus h3 e3 cap du3 so this is h now i want to take dot product so we must know how to how do we take dot product if a bar is some vector then I can write a bar as ax i cap ay j cap az k cap similarly if b bar is some vector I can write bx i cap by j cap plus bz k cap these are the component of a bar and b bar so ax is a component along i cap direction ay is a component along j cap direction az is component along k cap direction similarly for b bar then if i take dot product of a bar and b bar a bar dot b bar it can be written as ax plus bx ay by plus az bz 
so we get something like this you have to multiply x component by x component y component by y component z component by z component and you should not take direction into it so in dot product you get scalar answer will be scalar so you can see even though here is a direction when you take dot product there is no direction in dot product now i am going to do similar thing over here for this part so i can write it as f1 this part with this part right h1 now you can see e1 cap is a vector so i will not take vector i should take this one q1 right plus f2 h2 du2 plus f3 h3 du3 so this is for psi so i will call this equation 3 now what i know is this if i write d psi in terms of partial derivative it will be deba psi by deba u1 du1 plus deba psi by deba u2 du2 plus deba psi by deba u3 du3 i will call this equation 4 and from equation 3 you can see i have d psi over here i have d psi over here so i can compare those equations so let's write this equation again here d psi is equal to f1 h1 du1 plus f2 h2 du2 plus f3 h3 du3 this was equation 3 if we compare both equation comparing 3 and 4 we can write it like this if you compare you can see deba psi by deba u1 is equal to f1 h1 so it can be written as f1 is equal to 1 by h1 deba psi by deba u1 similarly deba psi by deba u2 is equal to f2 h2 you can see here this and these are equal so i can find the value of f2 that is equal to 1 upon h2 deba psi by deba u2 similarly deba psi by deba u3 here if you compare you can see it is f3 h3 so which will give me value of f3 that is equal to 1 upon h3 deba psi by deba u3 now you know initially we were interested in this because we want to find f1 f2 and f3 so again i will write the equation one maybe we can okay we will take it on next page so equation one was like this i wrote del bar psi is equal to h1 sorry f1 e1 cap plus f2 e2 cap plus f3 e3 cap and now i already found the values of f1 so you can see here values of f1 f2 and f3 so i can use these values so i can write it like this 1 upon h1 value of f1 was 1 upon h1 deba psi by deba u1 and then this e1 as it is from here plus 1 upon h2 deba psi by deba u2 e2 cap this e2 cap as it is plus 1 upon h3 deba psi by deba u3 e3 cap in more sophisticated way i can write it like this h1 deba psi by deba u1 plus e2 cap h2 
डेबा साय बाय डेबा यू टू प्लस ई थ्री कैप एस थ्री डेबा साय बाय डेबा यू थ्री सो दिस इज एक्सप्रेशन फॉर ग्रेडियंट ऑफ साय नाउ यूजिंग दिस एक्सप्रेशन दिस इज अवर एक्सप्रेशन यूजिंग दिस एक्सप्रेशन आई वॉन्ट टू फाइंड ऑपरेटर डेल बार सो इफ यू इन ऑर्डर टू फाइंड डेल बार यू हैव टू जस्ट रिमूव दिस साय सो रिमेनिंग थिंग विल बी डेल बार सो इट विल बी ईवन कैप अपॉन एच वन डेबा बाय डेबा यू वन प्लस ई टू कैप अपॉन एच टू डेबा बाय डेबा यू टू प्लस ई थ्री कैप अपॉन एच थ्री डेबा बाय डेबा यू थ्री सो दिस इज एक्सप्रेशन फॉर डेल बार डेल बार इज ऑपरेटर यू कैन सी इट इज अ वैक्टर सो देर आर वैक्टर्स ई वन ई टू एंड ई थ्री थ्री डायरेक्शन आर कंटेन इन डेल बार नाउ कंसिडर दैट साय इज इक्वल टू यू वन ओके देन दिस डेल बार इन योर बुक ऑन डेल देर इज अ नो बार बट इट इज एक्सपेक्टेड दैट यू हैव अंडरस्टूड दैट डेल इज वैक्टर so that's why there is a not bar no bar given in your book but there is a, there must be bar on del bar okay because it is vector now if let's say that psi is u1 then if i operate psi i operate del on psi then it is going to look like e1 cap upon h1 delta by delta U one operating on U one because now psi is U one plus E two cap H two delta by delta U two operating on U one plus E three cap upon H three delta by delta U three operating on U one. Okay. Now you can see derivative of U one with respect to U two. That will be zero. Similar derivative of u one with respect to u three that will be zero. It is something like this. You are taking derivative of x with respect to dy, so that will be zero. But if you are taking dx by dx, then that will be one, right? So this quantity derivative of u one with respect to With respect to same variable, basically you are taking derivative with respect to different variable here. Okay, one variable with respect to different that will be zero, but with respect to same variable it will be one. So, in this fashion, then what I can say from this, del bar psi or our psi was u one, so I will write it del bar u one. Is equal to e one cap upon h one cap. Similarly, if psi is u two, then I can write del bar u two is equal to e two cap upon h two. Similarly, del bar u three is equal to e three cap upon h three. These expressions we are going to use in next lecture. Okay, before. concluding this lecture we will see what we did in this lecture or what we have obtained in this lecture so we obtain the gradient gradient of psi then we obtain del operator or expression for del operator in curvilinear coordinate system for today we will stop here